There'd been hopes that with borders closed and supply disrupted, demand for the drug ice would fall during the pandemic. But those on the front line say the market for the dangerous drug has remained resilient, particularly in regional areas. Ice is also known as crystal methamphetamine. The rate of methamphetamine use dropped slightly in recent years, but in some areas, the impact only worsened. Among those who use methamphetamine, ice has become more popular than other forms of the drug like speed. And addicts are using it more often, even after the price tripled in some areas. Some of the worst impacts of the deadly drug are now being seen in Aboriginal communities. Erin Park reports from Broome in Western Australia. Van Olsen is taking the ABC on an unconventional tour of his hometown, Broome. Going such at some spots where people shoot up. The 24-year-old has been addicted to the drug crystal meth, also known as ice, for almost a decade. People probably shooting over here right now. While addicts from wealthier backgrounds shoot up at home, he and other young men inject the drug at parks and beaches. Look here. That's a syringe. It looks like a old syringe. He hasn't had a hit of meth so far today, and the cravings give him manic energy. <laughs> Can you imagine having more of a normal life where you're not an addict? Yeah, <laughs> I think of that all the time. I think, why would I? Why am I doing this? Why am I shooting up? Why am I? My mum and my sister don't even look at me the same. They don't even sit down and have yarn with me, nothing, you know? Because I'd be twitching and moving so fast. Like. Van started using meth in his early teens. He'd seen adults using the drug, and his world had been rocked by a death in the family. Ow! Anyway, he's moved on to alcohol. So I started charging, charging. Getting in trouble a lot, stealing. Um, then moved on to the heavy stuff then. I was about 13, 14. And just never stopped ever since. That's why I inject, and I've been using that mark for ages. Same spot. Unfortunately, meth is a huge part of a broom and the Kimberley in particular. Tallulah Bindery has never touched meth, but as a young Indigenous community leader, she sees the devastating effect it's having on many of the people that she grew up with. The pattern of use that I've kind of witnessed, I guess, is people using it as a um, maybe a substitute for or something to kind of um, compensate for some pretty serious mental health issues. Um, so I see people feeling depressed and struggling with grief and anxiety and trauma. The drug started making headlines in Australia in the early 2000s, but it's only been in the past five years or so that it's become common and easily available in remote northern WA. The COVID pandemic has had an impact. Less of the drug was available here when the borders were closed. People talk about how great that was when actual fact it had kind of this negative effect because people were coming down and they weren't getting the drugs that they needed and so then people get more kind of unpredictable when they don't have access to that. Um, so when they're coming down, they can be all kinds of erratic. COVID-19 offered a rare insight into the resilience of the illegal drug market. Prior to the pandemic, it's thought most crystal meth was imported from overseas by boat or plane before being distributed to remote corners of the country along outback highways like this one. Now, researchers are trying to work out what happened when the borders were closed. Monitoring illicit drug use is difficult. The Drug Use Monitoring in Australia program has proven one of the most effective tools. It involves interviewing and drug testing people who've been arrested. Overall, the indicators suggest there's been a de decrease in the use of methamphetamine, and that's in both urban and regional areas. Our research suggests that um, methamphetamine supply has been disrupted, and this has resulted in reduced availability and quality, less um, pure methamphetamine, and also increased prices. The bad news, though, is that the meth supply appears to have rebounded raising concerns that the shutting down of international boat and air travel may have boosted domestic production of methamphetamines. The human impact of this is being seen in Broome. This makes you look ugly. I used to be fit and healthy. I used to have more muscles than this. Um, no, I just look raggedy, you know? <laughs> 
Van says he's desperate to stop using the drug, but feels helpless to escape a deeply dysfunctional lifestyle. A detox facility promised for the Kimberley by the WA government two years ago has not yet been established. I just think they should have more places and more like people like the one fellow that looks after me, you know? Role models. Van holds out hope that life could be different. I don't want to change anyway. I'm trying to get into rehab. But that's going to be difficult in a part of Australia where the illegal drugs continue to be delivered, but support services offer not. Erin Park, ABC News, Broome.